This morning we're talking about breakfast being the most important part of the day, the meal of the day, and part of the day. You want to make sure you're not running out that door without breakfast, and this takes a lot of planning, especially if you're a busy mom trying to stay yes. on schedule. Susan Campbell Cross is joining <laughs> us this morning to talk about how we can save some time and how we don't have to skip breakfast. Absolutely not. Nobody should be skipping breakfast, but I'll tell you what, it is Better Breakfast Month, National Better, did you get me a gift? Better Breakfast Month? I did not get you a gift. Here, uh, here's I'll, the I'll, water. Here's oh, thank a you. Coconut water. Well, I'll let you, oh, thank you. I will <laughs> let you go on that this time. But I do want to emphasize that breakfast is, like you said, one of the most important things you can do for yourself and for your family. And I don't know if you realize this, but 50% of middle schoolers don't eat breakfast. 36% mm. of high schoolers don't eat breakfast. And guess how many adults? Did you eat breakfast this morning, Susanna? I did not eat breakfast. I had a feeling Guilty. you were part. Yes, because only 34% of adults are eating breakfast. However, when you eat breakfast, you're less grumpy, really important, mm -hmm. more focused, have true? more energy, yeah. and kids perform better on tests and in school. Studies have proven this. So why are we not eating breakfast? And we just talked to Dr. Perlmutter, and he said, exactly. you know, it affects your brain, so you really are what you eat. If you're not eating, you're not getting energy. Actually, you're not, you're not thinking straight. So Kinda true. Like me. Maybe that's why no, I'm you're, not thinking straight this morning. I think I you're breakfast. sharp as a tack this morning. Banana. Well, when we're all done with this, I will give you anything <laughs> on here that you would like. But what I, I want to say, too, to everybody is that's the main reason why people say they don't eat breakfast is because they simply don't have time. But the truth is, it really doesn't need to take that much time. And if you plan ahead, there are things you can do to save those precious moments so that you will have time to put breakfast back on the menu. And that's the key, planning ahead, being organized. You mentioned absolutely. you're a mom of three. You absolutely yes. have to be organized or else nobody's eating breakfast. That's right. So starting with the night before. The night before, you want to tell your kids they, they have to pack their backpacks, all their schoolwork, permission slips should be signed, nothing should be left unpacked. As you know, I think that all moms can attest to this. Mm -hmm. Those scrambling mornings where they're, oh, I forgot, I need this signed, and oh, I don't know where my shoes are, and that it happens. It all done the night before. Exactly. Clothes should be laid out, and this works for grown-ups too. You know, if you have your outfit picked out the night before, you're not spending 10 minutes extra in your closet putting things on, trying things on, and looking for that red shoe. Where did that go? Right. You won't have that problem. Right, right. Lunches, lunches could be packed the night before as well. There is um, no need to be trying to make lunch and breakfast at the same time. That's when things get really crazy in the kitchen. And so, that way you're also making healthier choices. Exactly, because you have time to think about it, and you'll know if you're out of something that you need. So that's key, planning ahead. Now, once you have all your schoolwork and lunches packed, you want to prep for the next morning. Mm -hmm. Fruits can be sliced and put in the refrigerator, put a little saran wrap. I did this yesterday. Look how beautiful this is. I just popped it right out of the fridge. Here you go. I mean, easy peasy. Very colorful, very nutritious. Exactly. And it's so great, too, because kids like to be hands-on with their food mm -hmm. and they are far more likely to eat something if they're involved in making it so you can do things like pop a toaster waffle in it takes just a sec while that's toasting grab your plate of already prepped fruit out of the refrigerator you can already pour ahead some granola dried fruit nuts whatever mm -hmm. your kids like and then set it all out on the table and then they can do this absolutely right yes i hope that do you guys can can get a little close up of this cutie pie <laughs> yeah. but this is exactly the kind of thing that you can do and it takes no time at all the kids are really happy and excited to get to participate in making the breakfast they're much more likely to eat the breakfast and it's so easy and fast honestly under 2 minutes okay so what if everybody's Pressed for time in the morning. They didn't have time the night before because they got back from soccer practice late. It was time to get to bed, bath time. You say they're still awake. They have to skip breakfast. You know what? Nobody should ever skip breakfast because you know what? If you have no time to even pop together a little yogurt par parfait or eggs in the microwave, if you don't have even two minutes, keep a tray like this one on your kitchen counter or even on the table by the door so that you can grab something on the way out. Absolutely nothing on this entire tray requires refrigeration or prep time. So what do you nothing. Have on here? So this could be on there two weeks Banana? ahead. Yes. I mean there's a bowl of fresh fruit right here. There's cereal bars. There's a little package of these um, delicious oh my gosh, these are kind so good. Bars. Yes, kind bars are amazing. You can um, put a few little peanut butter cups like this to go. People can grab an apple and a peanut butter cup, instant mm -hmm. breakfast. And these, I have found, these are like my new favorite little um, go-to thing. They're called Go Picnic. I don't know if you've seen I've these never before. Heard of these, no. I'll tell you, they're pretty awesome. They have um, an entire line of 
well, they've got snacks and meals, but they have a whole line of breakfast foods as well that are under 400 cal calories. They're under $5, and they come in all kinds of, like, if you have special dietary needs, gluten-free, kosher, if you want anything GMO-free, vegan, they've got you covered. And these, again, no assembly, no refrigeration, mm -hmm. no prep at all. You, here's how fast so I can, no look, excuses. here's breakfast. How there fast was that? Put it in your bag. <laughs> there you go, and you can just snack it in the car if you need to. But absolutely, breakfast is important. And you know, if you can make the time to sit down with your family, you know, everybody likes to talk about how important family dinners are, and mm -hmm. they are. But it's really nice to be able to start your day with your family talking about all the things that they have planned for the day, what they're looking forward to, what tests do they start have, and how do they feel off, about right. it? Are they ready? Start your day off right. Start your day off right. Thank you absolutely. for being with us this morning. Oh, you're so welcome. Reminding us how important breakfast is. No problem. Anytime. Now have a banana, Susanna. I will during the break. <laughs>